So, uh, the next portions of our clinical exam skills, um, we'll be looking at an objective way to um, appreciate chest wall movement. Um, this will you'll involve a tape measurer and three locations of the chest wall. All right. Um, the first one being the axilla. So, what you'll do okay, is you will place um, the tape measurer around the patient. So let your arms up. Okay, you can use centimeters or um, uh, inches, whatever your preference is. For persuasion. Okay. And again, similar to the symmetry, you don't want to be digging into the patient because you're going to bias your results. You kind of want to have them loose. Starting at zero. Okay. Okay. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. So you can do this for tidal volumes, normal resting breathing, or have them take a, a full deep breath in. Keep as you can go. And breathe out. Okay. Then we'll do um, the xiphoid, which we'll appreciate here. This is your most reliable location for chest wall excursion. Um, typically, when you're assessing this um, on a patient, you'll do all three to see if there's a regional difference or a side to side difference. Um, but if you're crunched for time, you can really just do the one because it's going to give you the biggest bang for your buck. Okay. So we'll find the xiphoid. Again, same process, coming around. And usually, um, you're better off using this as a standard tape, tape, tape measure. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Have the patient breathe in. Take a deep breath. region um, you'll use is, a, is about halfway between the axilla and the xiphoid. So you can even use the nipple line or just below it. Um, again, these are uh, standard positions, but on each patient it may be a little bit different, all right? So the same idea. Coming around the chest. excursion you should see is between two to three centimeters or four to six inches. Okay? Charlie. Wait, two okay. to three inches, four to six centimeters. Sorry. <laughs> two to three inches, four to six centimeters. <laughs> Missed up my units. All right. 